This is the Tonga side that is there to receive the bronze medal that they have worked out for. They beat the Solomon Islands by one goal to nil earlier in the day, and they are here. It was a one nil try for the Tonga side in the bronze medal playoff. And here comes the rightful owners and the winners for the gold medal, the Vanuatu side. Oh, they deserve this. A standing ovation from the Ni Vanuatu crowd here. Watch the flags fly there as this is the team manager for the Vanuatu side of Julia King who shared with us a lot of stories about the Vanuatu side behind the scene, their preparations, the sacrifices as here comes a Fiji side that also deserves a lot of credit for reaching to this level. That is Luisa Tomanita Ola looking a bit hurt as they walk in for the silver medal to get for the Fiji side. As a huge crowd, they remain behind. They're not moving because they want to watch the medals on the Vanuatu side. What a platform, what a setup, what a scene here at Corbin in the 10th Pacific Mini Games Women's Medal Celebration. they have worked out for the Tongans getting the bronze medal on behalf of the Pacific ah, that's a delight man the excitement the joy present the gold medal. and watch the Official flag sponsor, just flipping Fiji there Sir. for the Vanuatu Honorable side will be they truly the deserve medal. to be standing in the middle Minister of and Chains. to receive the gold medal very shortly Mr. Lambert Malcolm. as We'll be presenting ready. the bronze medal, the president medal celebration. of Vanuatu Football Federation. This is to what the they of the are waiting for right from the beginning of this competition. They started Monsieur on Yashu the 4th of December. That was the match day one. Sponsor and that is where they had two matches. Fiji, Amri, Tonga, Vanuatu, Solomon. Fiji won 5 nil, Vanuatu won 5 nil. Then they took Monsieur a break for two days. They came on Thursday, 7th December. Solomon said Tonga. Tonga won that one 3 1. Mon and Fiji Vanuatu had a rehearsal for his gold medal by drawing that match by nil all. The then they came back on Monday this week. Fiji defeated Solomon's 2 nil. Mr. Yasu Mahe, Mahe Vizetel gold medal. Official sponsor, Blood Digister. Honorable Han Nini, by presenting silver medal, Minister, Blood Climate Change. And Mr. Lambert Malto, President of Vanuatu Football Federation, Mabai is presenting bronze medal, Igor Longol winner from competition. They will present to each medalist the gift of a sandalwood tree to be planted. Supporting the Van 2017 Environment Legacy Program sponsored by South Pacific Sandalwood and Pacific Energy. The green behind the door. Ils vont aussi présenter un cadeau, un arbre de santal à planter pour contribuer au programme d'appui à l'environnement de Van 2017, sponsorisé par South Pacific St. Alwood et Pacific Energy. Le vert derrière l'or. 
La médaille de bronze est décernée à Receiving bronze medal Emmy Tonga bronze medal presentation and that belongs to the Tonga side They get the historic bronze medal to take it back home from the 10th Pacific <laughs> mini games as they go across to present the uh, bronze medal to these proud Tongans here as uh, they won it by defeating the Solomon Islands by one goal to nil and it was Mele Soakai that scored the goal for the uh, Tonga side as the captain Penateti Feke. There she is, a proud lady for tonight. 32 years of age and uh, she also represents the Tonga Football Association in terms of the women's competitions manager so uh, that's a wonderful thing to mention about Tonga they have their women's competitions manager the captain having a dual role here as an ambassador for uh, football in Tonga the unknown for rugby but then here the Tongan ladies they have proved they are also strong in terms of the round ball game as they have done this afternoon defeating Solomon Islands by one goal to nil that uh, Mele Soakai goal remember the Tongans they started this competition not the way they wanted they lost to Fiji by five goals to nil they came back, they beat Solomon Islands by three goals to one. And then in their last match, the Tonga side, what a match that one was. Probably the best of their performance in the competition when they held the gold medalist <laughs> Vanuatu side to all that night. And if not for the equalizer for Vanuatu tonight, Tonga would have been receiving the gold or silver by playing against the Fiji side. So that's the Tonga side, proud young girls, and uh, of course, the experienced captain of Penateti Feke. They will be taking a lot from this competition. It's not only about the bronze medal, it's their finish in the competition. Third overall out of the 14 competition, Unfortunately, the others did not make it. But then these four teams uh, left out from the presentation in the Solomon Islands uh, because we only have the gold medal, silver, silver and bronze medal. And uh, Tonga proudly. This is the man, the coach, the head coach, Tiani Kwaneti, who led the uh, Tongan girls quite ably and quite impressively into uh, this competition. So this night belongs to them. There's the team manager for Tonga, Fili Ta'ai, on the left of the screen with that smile, the Tongan smile. And that completes the bronze medal that will go with the Tonga side. And reconfirming the result, Tonga defeated Solomon Islands in the day by one goal to nil, number 14, Mele Soakai was the goal scorer in that decisive match. Receiving the silver medal is... La médaille d'argent est décernée à... That is the beautiful Tongan smile there. Receiving silver medal, Emmy As they cherish the historic bronze medal. And now the focus goes to 
number two in the competition. There is the captain of Anat Nenima. Still smiling and did quite well for the Fiji side, leading them in this uh, competition. Anet Nenima from Ba, and uh, a second year student at the FNU Namaka campus, the captain for the Fiji side. They will be thinking and reflecting on those moments that probably they have to review and think about that gave uh, the uh, lot of space and possession to the Vanuatu side in the second half. We had a very tight first half, but then in the second half, uh, Vanuatu, they looked quite energized and quite hungry, more hungry than the uh, Fiji side in the second half. That is Simmons who set up that goal for the Fiji side for Thurman Asau to bring them back into the match. It's a beautiful young girl there of uh, Lucia Simmons, 18 years of age, year 12 student at uh, Xavier College. And here is Sikola Wanganin Rola, who is a first year student at USP and a very hard-working defender, but it was replaced probably for uh, not being able to hold on to uh, Janan Ismail and Pauline Willy on that left-hand side, the Fijian right defender. So they have the silver medal to take home. And here is the uh, younger sibling, the Nenima sibling of Cecilia Nenima who has just completed the year 13 education at Xavier College and a member of the FA women's side. Remember the final score in this gold medal playoff was 1-1 to 2 and Fiji 1. That score line will be going into the history books for the 10th uh, Pacific mini games, as uh, the Fijians, the beautiful Fijian smiles coming in. All these girls there on the screen, and I'm sure those watching back home on Fiji television and uh, the live stream will be proud of what these girls have uh, received here. And when you look at the age group, the uh, players like Meredith Funga. And uh, Sophie Dialawai are 24, and we have Anet Nenima, the captain, who is 20 years of age. And there are a number of them who are around 18. Vaniana Ronandi, Thwema Nassau, Luisa Tomani Tokula, Marione Tora, Coletta Liku Zula Zula are all 18 years of age. Sikola Wanganin Rola is just 19, and uh, even the bench players. The youngest is uh, number seven, that is 16 years of age. So these girls have a long, long way to go if they are taken care of and kept together as a unit. There's the Fiji women's side there. They have the uh, Vodafone National League for the uh, women's competition back in Fiji. And... Uh, the selection process came from there. And a number of them from the bar women's side. I can see at least one, two, three, four, five. Ten of them for Fiji are from the bar women's team. And when I look at the others, there are two from Lombasa. And a few from uh, the southern side, Rewa team as well, the goalkeeper, Merevesi Funga, as uh, 
They round off, not really round off. They still have a number of them remaining on the left hand side. This is uh, Aliza Hussein receiving the medal there. The Kamil College Year 12 student representing the Ba women's side. And uh, the Fijians will be. They still will be thinking about those moments as uh, they go to the final field for the Fijians. The Vanuatu side is waiting eagerly and desperately. The crowd wants it badly for Vanuatu because they deserve to celebrate the night. They wanted it the most and they have got it wrapped up here. This is the Vanuatu side, the champions of the 10th edition of the Pacific Mini Games. great gesture the Vanuatu side going down to their knees and giving the respect while receiving the medal that they deserve the gold medal and they look smart with the medals there they look proud the Vanuatu players they deserve it they worked hard for it stories to tell behind this smiling Vanuatu women's side according to their manager a lot of sacrifices a lot of pain a lot of trouble is what they have come through and the significant one was when they have to move away from the comfort of their homes and their country and spend five long months and prepare for this podium for this moment by staying in China with their coach of Wu Kangzhen to prepare and get ready for this night. That is how far they went. That is how badly they wanted. Vanuatu will be celebrating this for some time. Now, they will be waiting for their men's side tomorrow. Who knows, that could be the icing on the cake if they beat the Solomon Islands and Fiji in terms of the gold medal tomorrow. Here they are. Some of them looking quite emotional. a real look into their eyes it all tells the stories that they have gone through to reach this far Tonga getting bronze medal Fiji the silver medal and here are the gold medalists the Vanuatu side Proud 
set of ladies representing Vanuatu in the women's competition. And next is the man, the Chinese, Wu Kangzhen. Look at the delightment on his face. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. They know how important this man is, Wu Kangzhen, for themselves. And the tactical change that he made for Lisa Le Solomons to enter the field at the time when the match was very tight. And here are the champions, the Vanuatu women's side that have won the gold medal in the 10th Pacific Minigames Women's Competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Vanuatu. Madame Minister, Madame Minister for the National in Vanuatu. As for everyone is sana, the Minister National Anthem, Long Vanuatu. So that's uh, the uh, flag that is uh, the uh, highest here at the Coleman Stadium. Look at the emotions there on the faces of the uh, Ni Vanuatu crowd and the team here. They are enjoying the moment. They deserve to be emotional. They deserve to be excited as they have won it here at the Coleman Stadium. Remember, they started their journey. The Vanuatu side winning by 5-0 in the first match. The second match, they drew with Fiji Nilol. The third match, they drew with Tonga 2-2. And the all-important match here, they have won it by two goals to one. It's celebration time here at Cormont.